My biggest fear was becoming my mother. See, to live is to suffer. My mother had struggled with bipolar, mood swings, and rapid cycling my whole life. And because of that, growing up, she was in and out of the hospital. She never gave up on trying out different treatments and medication changes. I always respected her for that. Because of her absence, I was alone a lot, without the stability of having a typical mother around. I had to learn a lot of things the hard way. Being young and naive led to making many mistakes. I blamed her for that, for not being there. When I was 15, I was diagnosed with bipolar myself. I blamed her for that too. I saw my mother as crazy. Her life was a never ending struggle that was always affecting my life. I didn't want to be like my mother. I couldn't. I wouldn't. I won't become my mother. Right before high school, I was hospitalized. Why were they keeping me here with these crazy people? This is where my mother went. I wasn't crazy. I blamed her for that. I finally got the help I needed. Eventually. It seemed that the whole process was agonizing and endless. Well, not exactly endless. I learned, grew, found myself along the way, even if it meant getting black and blue. She realized that I was cutting and dealing with insomnia when I was 13, and she immediately set me up with a psychiatrist. Because of my mother's intervention, I was already in the mental health system when I had my first manic episode. I thank her for that, because I wouldn't have been diagnosed for a long time if it wasn't for her picking up on the signs. I graduate in June now and plan on going to university in the fall. I want to become a social worker who's involved with either the mental health or justice system. My mother is one of the most remarkable women I have ever known. I no longer fear being my mother. I fear not having her strength. The pain is infinite. She's my queen and I ain't even British. She's the only reason that I went to school and I finished. She told me that I had talent. Got on the knees and prayed for me when I started being valid. Okay, she saw something in me.